What's up guys, Maritime Spook here, and I just got a video for you here guys that I've been thinking about in my head for quite some time, and I've seen some versions of this video um, here and there, but I just wanted to put my two cents in on it, and uh, but before I do that guys, I'm going to put a link in the description to my friend Joel's uh, YouTube channel, uh, he is a military infantryman, and he's been going out and doing some videos on his knives, and doing some bushcrafting, and uh, going to continue to do so. And I just want, I'm going to put a link in the description, like I said, go over and give him a sub, guys. Um, for one, he's a veteran, and he deserves all our respect, no matter what. Um, that's number one. And number two, he has very good insight into knives, and, uh, you know, knowledge, very knowledgeable with the knives he carries. And he's carried them in both a civilian and a military role. So right there, that's going to give him insight that a lot of us won't have. So shout out to Joel, Foresight Bushcraft and Blades. I'm going to put a link in the description. Shout out to his wife, Amanda. Military wives don't get enough credit, guys. Uh, military wife is just as important a lot of time to the soldier. Because for one, they're fighting harder to get back to that loved one, uh, their wife. And two, the wives are the ones at home making making it happen and getting them, you know, able to come home to something. Um, and also the resilience to put up with having to have their loved one away, making it so people like me and you can shoot these videos and have freedom. So shout out to you too, Amanda. But uh, link in the description, Bush, Joel's uh, channel, Fors Foresight, Bushcraft and Blades. So check that out. But uh, I'll remind you at the end of the video as well. But one thing I want, what my, what I wanted to get into, guys, is yes or no on taking a multi-tool on the show alone. A lot of us have got into watching the show. I know three or four uh, of the actual winners, even personally from social media, um, camped out with Wayne, who was on season one. He come out here and camped out here at the ridge on our land, and uh, just you know, good fellow too. So got little connections of talking to people here and there on the show and it's not a coincidence guys i don't think that two of the winners have carried just the multi-tool and not brought a big knife or a knife at all other than the knife that is on the multi-tool now zachary fowler who won uh season four i believe and the most recent winner jordan jonas who actually skinned a moose with his multi-tool uh, was the winner, and that's all he brought. He didn't bring a big knife, anything like that. Now, it would be very, very hard for me knowing that I was going on a wilderness expedition, you know, and contest even for that matter, and not bringing something like my Triple X knives, Nor'easter. I always said if I were to bring a knife on any show like that, or if I could only bring one knife with me at all, it would be this Triple X knives, Nor'easter. Because I know, <clears throat> I know Derek's work. I know this is a very, very strong knife. It's got a six inch blade. So batoning and uh, heavier work and even a bit of light chopping is going to be no problem. It's in M2 steel, which is a freaking awesome steel. And uh, the full flat grind makes it good at bushcraft and things like that. But it also makes it good at utilitarian uh, jobs that you'd be doing around the camp and things like that too. So it'd be very hard for me not to bring this with me when I was thinking, saying, okay, you're only allowed to have 10 items. Um, not bring this would be hard. <laughs> it would be hard for me to think about. And I would still, at, to this day, even not sure, um, you know, not sure what I exactly I would do. It's more talking about what the upside of this is than whether or not I would or would not, because I honestly do not know, guys. I would have to take that time right at that moment and then decide, I guess. But, you know, I did a lot of thinking about it. But this knife here, the, the knife is very secure in the sheath, and it rides deep in there, so I wouldn't think I'd have a problem with, like, ever losing it, because another thing is losing your tools. We all know a very up-and-coming famous youtuber here will say i uh, lost a fair seam rod and end up tapping out because he couldn't uh basically couldn't go on without losing the tool and uh you know it's just one of them things i guess but uh, so don't you don't want to lose your tools so great setup to have but why it would be very hard for me not to take this multi-tool and by the way what this multi-tool is is the Leatherman Super Tool 300, and I think it's one of the best multi tools money can buy. Um, great, great uh, piece of kit right here, and it has the 154 cm uh, cutters, 
It has uh, needle nose pliers and uh, the other plier, like channel lock pl uh, plier type of deals going on. Uh, it has this serrated, very sharp serrated uh, edge knife to it. It has, you know, screwdrivers and bottle can opener, which would be very good, uh, or cutter, can cutter, um, which would be very good out there. And even using the screwdrivers for different tasks would uh, come in handy, I'm sure. On that side, they all lock as well, guys, and I'll show you that mechanism in a second. Um, other screwdrivers and all, which would be awesome to have out there because you can poke holes through things and hides and, you know, use it for a million things. And it actually has the needle, excuse me, has the needle hole. So you can tie a knot on one end and actually use that, like, to to mend netting and stuff like that. So that all would be worth its weight in gold. And this particular, the Super Tool 300 has a file on it as well, which right there, I mean, you can use that to sharpen things and to, to build things as well. So that is a huge plus right there. And of course it has a knife, which would be the kicker with not having a knife. Um, you know, not having a, a bushcraft knife, we'll say, if this is what you took as, you know, that that tool. Um, but it is a great knife. Jordan Jonas, who just won alone uh, the last season, he actually skinned a whole moose with it. And there's plenty of videos and documentation on uh, him doing so and talking about it. So, I mean, they're very, very good uh, that way. And one of the things I forgot to mention that this has that I just thought of... It's very important and, and very good on this particular tool is, and it has a whole bunch of fat wood on it right now, is this saw. Um, it is very, it is actually really strong and it's very sharp and it works very well. Uh, it's got like a 90 degree spine. You can throw sparks with it. I got a Kleenex that's got a ton of fat wood in it, like all gooed in there. But uh, that just makes this into, you know, a great thing to have for the outdoors. But where the kicker for me is where I think I 100% would have to take this tool with me is because of the simple fact of having this stuff right here with me. And what this is guys is snare wire and I'll open this up and just, uh, I know a lot of you know what it is, but there might be somebody that's not sure. This is brass snare wire and it's all, I'm not gonna undo it all, but it's all uh, rung up in there and you can make all your stairs with it. You would almost 100% want or need to have a tool that has like pliers and a couple of the different things on there, like the wire cutter even, when you're working with this stuff. And I think these are, this would be very important to your survival out there. A lot of people didn't catch a lot of game and fur and stuff like that um, in that particular fashion. But I think for mentally to be able to get out and be doing things, and for different crafts, because you can bring wire with you. Um, there's a lot of things you can make with uh, this, these two things together. So I would almost have to take the multi-tool, guys. I don't know how I would swing it. i got to get a better sheath for this one. But I'm not talking about me ever going on that show either, by the way, just to get that out of the way. But uh, I just think I would have to take it. Uh, for what kind of the things, the tools I showed you and explaining this is what the kicker would be, guys, is you working with the wire, making snares and using the wire to do other things around the camp, even, you know, fixing fixing the, your shelter and uh, fixing equipment and things like that. You know, things you have, you, that wire along with this tool would make that so much easier, guys. So, but uh, anyway, guys, that was just a quick little video I've been thinking about. And please go over, guys, and give Joel a sub. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description to Foresight Bushcraft and Blades. Awesome fella. Very knowledgeable. You'll really like uh, his insights. And he's going to keep making videos. The same with anybody else, guys. If there's interest in what he's doing, then he'll keep making more. So give him that interest, guys. That's what happened with me. I had people that were interested in what I had to say. So I went out and made sure I made more videos. And, uh, you know, long term, I guess. But anyway, guys, I would definitely have to bring one of these. I appreciate your time. And just to let you know, the locking mechanism I talked about, when your knife, this is the knife blade, when it goes, you can hear it, it locks. So it's locked in there. You use your knife, but when you're done with it, it has... 
this little button right here and that actually unlocks it almost like a liner lock type of deal and that unlocks it and then you can shut it so great tool something i think i would almost have to for sure take i thought about this the other day and i said yeah if i ever were to ever be on anything like that just hypothetical situation i would have to bring that because i would want to have this with me out in the woods for sure not just for the snaring but just everything else you can do for you so anyway guys stay safe Check out uh, Foresight Bushcraft and Blades. I appreciate every one of you. And uh, keep yourself warm, guys. It's getting cold. Take it easy.